Interim Chief Executive Officer of the University of Ghana Medical Center, Professor Aaron Lawson, says the facility is 96% complete. The contractor is expected to hand over the site for use by the university at the end of November this year. The University of Ghana Medical Center is a continuary hospital facility, the first of its kind in sub-Saharan Africa. They've employed a lot of local artisans and they are transferring skills to them. The university itself has engaged electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, biomedical engineers. The 650 bed is to provide medical training and research for various health professionals in Ghana. All the medical equipment is seen. But we've installed the imaging equipment and then uh, the laboratory equipment. But the other items of equipment are in containers. We are working on recruiting uh, staff. The $217 million project has eight buildings made up of emergency and imaging centers, operating theaters and research laboratories orthopedic inpatient building for internal medicine and surgical, maintenance and logistics building, and a staff accommodation. There is also the Medical Simulation Center for students and specialists to receive hands-on training. The facility again would provide subspecialist surgery, radiology, pharmacy, obstetrics and gynecology, pediatrics, anesthesia, medical education, including a robotic simulation training, accident and emergency services. Some private hospitals have started coming here to negotiate with us that if they have complicated cases, they will bring them here. Another unique facility is the pain management center meant to examine the root cause of acute and chronic pain and also for the terminally ill. Specialists like anesthetics and neurologists will collaborate at the pain management facility. We have been overwhelmed by <laughs> applications, wow. unsolicited applications. We've not advertised yet and yet on a daily basis, even this morning, someone has come with an application. But we're going to uh, make sure that we don't charge change the other hospitals. As part of the project package, a number of Ghanaian health professionals, including doctors, nurses and pharmacists, have undergone short-term hands-on training at the Sheba Medical Center. They are expected to constitute a critical mass of staff to be engaged when the hospital commences operations.